Hello everyone, uh, my name is Maria and I'm going to show you my experience how did I became, uh, become a bartender. Uh, first of all, um, 10 years ago I came to California, so I wasn't very familiar with the culture or anything. My dad had a little Mexican restaurant and I started working with him, taking English classes and doing just whatever to, you know, adapt to the culture and everything. So, when my dad sold the business, because he he uh, had a partner, so he didn't work out, and then I started uh, looking for a job at any, any restaurant. And it was a really fun experience, because I was working in Mexico as a secretary, so when I went to work, I mean, looking for a job in a restaurant, I was wearing, like, a suit and heels, and I had, like, you know, like, my notebook and stuff and resume, so the managers will be like, are you willing to work as hard? And I'll be like, yeah, I want to work hard, you know? So like, you don't want to like, you want to work hard, so I can hire you. So I want like five restaurants in one day, nobody hired me. So the next day, I was more lucky and I was hired, <laughs> and I was hired by a Chico restaurant. So they promised me to uh, give me a job as a cocktail waitress, but at the time they didn't have any spots for a cocktail waitress, so they asked me if I wanted to be a hostess, so I accepted, and when I was uh, training for a hostess, it was like a really, really hard training, you know, they give you like a big book, you have to read, you have to learn everything about the restaurant, but the manager didn't have any uh, hostess book, like single, so he gave me the manager book, and he had everything, like he had the man um, manager's position, the cook position, the bartender position, the culture waitress position, to learn. So I took advantage of it and then learned everything about the bartender, everything about the culture waitress. So in a month, I was a culture waitress. When I was a culture waitress, it was really fun because I started learning like everything, you know, like how the bartenders do the drinks really fast. And also, sorry, I have more hair. <laughs> and also, um, you know, they have like a DJ, and you think like it's a really fun job to do, but it's really fun. But at the same time, it's like a big responsibility. And and then you get like used to all the crowd and everything. But at the end of the night, you have to be just really, really like responsible. You have to be all committed and well. So the thing is that when I saw the bartenders doing the dreams, you know, it really shocked me because they were really fast. They were a lady and a, and a male. They actually they were like brother and sister, so they were they were really really good. Like both of them, they would make like eight drinks in a row, and I was like, oh my god, you know, how can they do that? So, well, I worked there like two two years and a half actually. So then I was like, okay, I learned everything here, you know, I was making money and everything, but I just decided to change shops because I didn't. I just felt like I learned everything. So I started looking for a job, I found another job in a Mediterranean restaurant where they didn't have any, um, they actually were building the bar, because it was a pretty new restaurant. The owners, they didn't know everything about the bar, so I just offered, and I told them, okay, uh, I'll help you guys to build the bar, and I helped them to, you know, we went shopping, we got all the cures, we got everything. So then um, they go like, do you want to be the bartender? I'm like, oh my god, like, I, I, I don't want to be the bartender, you know? I never thought, like, I can be a bartender because my friends, well, the bartenders, they were just really fast and I got up. I thought, like, I would never be able to do eight drinks in a row or ten drinks or three drinks. So I'm like, okay, I didn't say no, you know, because I, I didn't want to be, like, a quitter, but I was so fearful. At the end, okay, the first night at the bartender came, and I was so nervous, and I had 10 waiters just waiting for me, making, I was making all the drinks, and I just felt like I was so slow, you know, I'm like, oh my god, I'm so slow. But at the end of the night, the owner, he congratulated me, and he said, thank you. And that was my, well, my best day. This is